video, we're going to keep it super simple. I just have a variety of knickknacks, little trinkets, things like that. And I'm just going to go through them one by one with you. Do a little tapping, explain them a bit in my own Amal ASMR style. I will also be chewing some gum. I haven't done a gum chewing video in a hot minute, so let's just go ahead and pop some gum in our mouth. And today's gum of choice is the Icebreakers Ice Cubes in Peppermint. Going to be having very fresh breath for you. I know that gum chewing videos are not for everyone, but I know there's a good chunk of you out there who do like them. So I wanted to fulfill that request. Let's see. Where shall we start? Okay. I suppose we'll start with this one. Ugh, her little boobies. They're going everywhere. Our first item trinket of the night is this Elvira salt and pepper shaker set. You may notice that the shakers are her breasts and they move around a lot so they don't always keep their position like they should I love Elvira love Vampira too I'm a fan of anything kind of spooky and sexy Fire is a bit campy. I just think that this is so cute. If you are a viewer of my channel, if you know me a little bit, you could definitely see <laughs> how I like this. Now, I have not used it for its intended purpose. I have not put salt and pepper in her little chesticles. Partly because when I use salt and pepper, I never finish off things with salt and pepper. I'm seasoning my meals and I just feel like <laughs> the holes <laughs> aren't big enough. That's what she said. And I find it to be best suited as just a decoration piece in my kitchen. I picked this next item out for this video because it makes such fun sounds and of course it's sparkly so you know I'm gonna love it I'm a big fan of pretty cups because I think in a weird way that they encourage you to drink more fluid so you stay hydrated. And this one is just so fun to run my fingernail up and down it. If I had to complain about something when it comes to this cup, though, you can't put it in the dishwasher. And I just love throwing everything in the dishwasher. So that's kind of a pain in the ass, but it's 
to sacrifice that I'm willing to make. Next up, we have this candle. It doesn't have a scent. It's just one of those saint candles. Sorry if this is a bit blasphemous. I don't mean to offend anyone. This says a Saint Hedwig candle. You do not know who Hedwig is. This is from easily one of my top five favorite movies, which is Hedwig and the Angry Inch. It is a musical. Let's see if I can kind of explain it to you. It is about a guy who lives in Germany before the Berlin Wall was taken down and he falls in love with an American soldier but due to the time Gay marriage is not allowed, and so Hedwig gets a sex change so Hedwig can be with his lover, and the surgery goes terribly wrong, and Hedwig is left with an angry inch. I won't say more than that. In case you do want to watch it, don't want to give any spoilers. And a lot of times when I tell people about it, they like to immediately follow my description up with, and that's a musical? Yes, it's a musical. And the songs are fantastic. If you have seen Hedwig, please, please, please. I feel like not enough people know about it. I am a big, 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 the biggest fan of Final Fantasy X. It is my favorite game in the world. I've played it multiple times. It makes me cry every single time. I collect various Final Fantasy X things. Anything I can find. Books, cards, jewelry, shoes. And this is a music box. It has Yuna and Titus in the front. Cut out of wood. And I know that the proper way to say his name is Titus, but I need you to know that I hate that and I don't give a shit that's how you say it. I will forever call him Titus. I feel like it works better that way. I know that's a bit pompous of me to say, but he has a lot of references to water in the game and I think this just sounds better. But you wind it up in the back and it plays the intro song. I'm just obsessed with this. It's so cute. I want everything Final Fantasy X that the world has to offer. Here we have some roses. You may notice these are not your regular, regular kind of roses. I made these out of Legos. I haven't made all of them. I believe this set I have makes 12 roses, a dozen roses. only done four so far. I put them in this little vase. I'm only probably going to have 11 because there was this tiny, tiny piece 
when I went to do one of them was missing. I basically convinced myself that they must not have given it to me, but come to find out, my cat, he's a sneaky little fellow, and he tore it up. He didn't eat it, he just chewed it into oblivion. So I will be short one rose unless I can sort of figure out a way to make it work with that missing piece. Or if the other little bags have an extra piece. Not very hopeful, but I would love it if they do. This is the first style of rose, each set of four. They have slight variations, so it'll give some visual interest to your Lego bouquet. I think candles really set the mood, and plus there's no better feeling than after you've cleaned the house, everything's spick and span, and you light a candle. It's just the cherry on top. And I wanted to show you two candles from a brand I really like. These are from the Candle Daddy. And we'll focus on this one first. Open her up. This one is called D's Nuts. It's like a banana nut bread smell. I've actually had this one before. This one is brand new. So I haven't burnt this yet, but I know I love it. This is the Halloween edition. Mm, it smells so good. I kind of like it. Hey. And love it when things smell this delicious because I just want to eat it. It smells uh, so tasty. This is a great one for the fall. It makes your house smell like you're a baking goddess. I've been making little treats all day. I have burned this one. I keep this one in my guest bathroom. And anyone who sees it, they get a good little chuckle out of it. This is Pound Town. One ticket to Pound Town. I'll never forget. A guy I grew up with, he made an anniversary post for his wife, mother of his children, on Facebook for everyone and God to see. And the post read, Happy anniversary, baby. Tonight, I'm going to take you to Pound Town on the fuck truck. And they say chivalry is dead. And this one smells like a lemon pound cake. Another one that I just want to bite right into. We have a black rose single black rose in this dome, glass dome. It sort of reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. Do you guys feel like Belle liked the prince better when he was a beast? To me, she seemed kind of disappointed when he turned back into being a human. A little tale about bestiality. Then I have this Hello Kitty Hot Wheels truck. Still in the packaging. I'm never going to take it out. 
Honestly, this is my dream car. I posted literally this truck. It was at some kind of car show. And I mentioned how bad I wanted it. That it was my dream to have. And so, one day, my sister told me she had fulfilled a dream of mine. And got me something I had always been wanting. Got really, really Oh my gosh, what could it be? And then she presented this to me. And I thought it was so funny. Got milk. Gotta say, one of my least favorite ways people refer to my breasts. It's got to be milkers. Something about that is just very unsettling. But this is ceramic trinket little decorative piece of a milk carton I keep this in my kitchen I think it fits the theme pour out the milk it says grade A pasteurized on it I just love little things like this. It looks a bit old timey, which I'm a fan of. A bit nostalgic. This ceramic milk garden. This is from Kate Spade. If you like smelling good. These next items are perfect for you. I like talking about these to anyone who will listen. These are my perfume oil bottles. And I love how intricate they are. This one looks like a flower. Let's see if they have the name. This is the Omali. This one is Jamila Gold. Some little red ruby accents. And then this one, I'd say it's the more masculine of the three. And the details are the sapphire blue color. This one, what's this one's name? This is Khat Lush. I don't know if I said that right. But a perfume oil is something that you should definitely get if you don't have any. And honestly, they don't have to be these ones, even though they smell oh so delicious. Some of my favorite perfume oils have come from the beauty supply store. They'll just come in those little roller balls. They'll be super cheap. The beauty supply I go to, they'll have it near the checkout. And they'll have the most unhinged names for the perfume oils. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It'll be like sex in the rain or put that pussy on me. Something like that. <laughs> just gotta roll them on, kind of let it fit in. You can put your perfume over it as well. I love wearing scents, but I can guarantee you, if you do that, you'll have so many people asking you what you're wearing. This is my old Hollywood glamour girl. Shaped like a star. She's just sitting on top. Posing. Looking very pretty. I think it's supposed to be Marilyn Monroe, but her hair is quite dark. So don't quote me on that. 
but I think they sell this as a Marilyn Monroe trinket box and she's sitting on top of this glittery light baby blue star wearing a little white bikini and the top just pops off like that And you can just put little things in there. Anything your heart desires. I currently don't use it for storage. She just sits up on my mantle, looking glamorous. Our last item of the night. We have this coffin-shaped container. I just put like pens in it. I have a vape. What else is in here? Oh jeez. I know someone's gonna yell at me. Another vape. Um oh Betty Boop pen. I love Betty Boop. Betty Boop is so cute. Then these are like ear cleaning tools. I used these in my ear cleaning role play. You should watch it if you haven't. And I also have this tool. It's a bit sharp. But this side I use to pop off my nails. And this more flat side. I used to push down my cuticles. That wraps up this ASMR video. I hope that you enjoyed getting to spend some time with me. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.